So I'm here at Marriott's Cypress Harbor in Orlando, Florida. They just built out a brand new activities area over here at the lake house. We're gonna take a look at all of the changes right after this. Hello and welcome to Destination Timeshare. I'm Jeremy. We're gonna get started right into this video today. Walking through the new activities area over here, splash pad, new mini putt, new playground, new surfaces, I believe on the basketball court here as well. We're gonna take a look at those and check it out. But I do wanna turn the camera around here really quick, show you what's kinda of new here. At the lake house as well, as far as boat activities, pretty much all the same stuff, but it does look like they have some new kinda of electric pontoon boats here that are covered. Kinda of cool there. I do recall this one previously, at least I think so. That one might be new though too, but there are still some of the older boats here and the little boat that they have that will take you from here over to the bridge and clubhouse area over on the other side of the lake. Not a whole lot new here, just some new boats that you can rent and I'll actually show you a sign there really quick that shows you all the prices of these on lake activities. So here's the lake house. We'll be walking up through there in just a moment, not actually going in the lake house, to head over to the other side to take a look at the new activities area. But here is the boathouse and not open here early in the morning, but here are information and the prices for the rentals of the boats, biking, fishing, mini golf, which is free and you get some refreshments, a slushy there for $5. New boat rental, so it looks like they do have different prices. I was thinking maybe that was a covered electric boat. Not exactly sure, but it says here, the red four person electric boat is $34 plus tax. And the blue six person electric boat is $42 per half hour plus tax. So there are prices there for the boats. Now let's head up here. We do have the lake house over here. They actually didn't make really any changes to the lake house as far as I know, but I actually haven't been through that yet for any of my resort tours because of the pandemic it had always been closed, but they do have a game room in there that is open and they do a number of activities in there as well. But here we are coming up on the new activities area. I'm gonna kind of overlay some video here also of what it looked like previously. But as you can see here, all new surface here, new pavers, I guess you could call them. And here is the basketball court. They do have it locked on me. Can't get in there at the moment. I was in there earlier in the week, but new basketball court. It is also covered. I don't remember this being covered in the past, so it does provide some shade and might also provide a little bit of protection from rain. So that is really cool here that they redid this entire basketball area. Coming over here now, this building was here previously. It does house the ping pong table. It does look like it maybe got a new roof and a fresh coat of paint. They do also have brand new patio tables and chairs, new trash cans even, and some benches over here as well for sitting on. And that's probably for the shuffleboard and bocce ball that's over here. Those look like they put in a new shuffleboard surface here as well. Again, some new seating areas, all new patio surface there on the ground. Really nice look here at the activities area. Really did a nice job here redoing these surfaces, this area. And it looks like also the shuffleboard, at least where you would stand, is covered. So that's really nice as well. And the same for the bocce ball court. Now out here, we do have Surrey bikes, but they do have some really nice kind of rock features here assigned to the boathouse that way. We have Shipwreck Point over here on the other side. Don't think these are anything new. They had these previously, so you can rent Surrey bikes to take a little trip around the property. And then this sign here to Shipwreck Point, the brand new playground that they've put in here on the property. We'll walk up here and take a look. There are some playground rules here. So, oh, they always have to have some type of rules, don't they? But anyway, here is the new kind of shipwreck playground, obviously fashioned after a pirate ship and a couple of slides here. Looks kind of neat. Be quite a bit of fun if you're a little kid. And I have actually seen quite a few people out here taking advantage of the new playground here at Marriott's 
Cypress Harbor. And of course, new surface here as well. Uh, artificial grass here, nice and soft, nice and squishy. So hopefully if there's any tumbles or falls, nobody gets hurt at all. But it's a really cool little playground that they've put in here. Definitely an improvement over what was here before. They also do have a swing set just around here. So nice new swing set that your children can take advantage of there. And here, I'm not exactly sure what this thing is supposed to be. I guess it probably spins. No, it doesn't spin. This spins here. Well, that spins. But I guess it's just something to climb on. Other than that, I really don't know what that does. If anybody knows what this is for, other than just climbing on, do let me know down in the comments below. Because it's got this little thing on it. It's got this little thing on it. And uh, that's that. There's maybe a little bench there or a seat to sit on. But other than that, I'm not sure what it's for. I guess they do have this little slide thing. But anyway, let's go over here and check out the new splash pad. This entire area was the mini golf course. They did take away at least half of the mini golf course. We will take a look at what's remaining of that here in just a moment. But this here is the kids splash pad so normally this would be running you'd have water spraying all over the place i believe these things that are kind of below the mass of the ship sail they fill with water and dump out every once in a while you do have some little cannons over here that do rotate around so you know kids can move those around and spray their friends spray their family members one thing I've noticed kind of about splash pads is they don't really get a lot of use. I mean, see kids on them every once in a while, see families on them, but they're just, I think, kind of one of the most underutilized activities or amenities at a timeshare resort. I actually did a survey about that. What is the most underused amenity? I will put a link to my community tab, community page, up above here. You can go over there and find that survey and respond to it yourself if you like. I also notice around here, around the outside of the splash pad, they have some cool designs in the concrete, some shells, some starfish, that kind of thing. So that's a really nice touch here in the design here around the splash pad. Now here we have the mini golf course. I believe it has just been changed to six holes. It used to be 12 holes, but it was actually kind of, well, kind of lame. It's in pretty rough shape. Looks like they've added some berms here around the edges of the fairways. All, of course, artificial grass. And here, looks like a big chest of treasure, but eh, all the treasure's glued down. So, it does look like a really, really nice six-hole mini golf course here. You can actually get the balls and putters in the lake house. Free of charge, no charge to use and take advantage of mini golf here at cypress harbor so really nice little new mini golf course that they've created here so there it is folks the recently upgraded activities area here at marriott's cypress harbor new basketball splash pad playground all kinds of great stuff here at cypress harbor to take advantage of kind of curious do you have a trip planned here in the near future do you plan to visit this area and take advantage of these great amenities or are you a previous visitor and you're looking forward to coming back to take advantage of this. Love to hear all about it down in the comments below. And if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Really does help out these videos. And to see more videos all about Timeshare, check out the description box below. And for another video from here at Marriott's Cypress Harbor, I know this wasn't enough. If you want to see a full resort tour, check out this video right up here. I'll put a link to the resort tour right there to check that out. And also, be sure to subscribe, and don't forget, the best destination is always a timeshare.